Hello, I'm Miles Taylor, and for my project, I picked titanium. So a brief history of titanium. Titanium, atomic number 22, was originally discovered in 1791 by an Englishman named Reverend William Gregor. However, this discovery of titanium went largely undiscovered by the scientific community. And it wasn't until in 1795 it was rediscovered by a German chemist where it became mainstream in the scientific community. The name of titanium comes from Greek mythology, being named after the, the Titans. And the name is uh, said to represent the strength of titanium, as the Titans were very strong individuals. The crystal and atomic structure of titanium. So titanium's primary form of bonding is metallic bonding. And titanium actually has incredibly strong bonding between its titanium atoms. Solid titanium is capable of forming both hexagonal closed packet crystal structure, HCP, or a body-centered cubic system, BCC, depending on the environmental temperature at which crystallization occurs. When, higher temp when high temperatures are maintained during the crystallization process, titanium will form a BCC pattern. However, when it is allowed to cool down to room temperatures through the, uh, the crystallization process, titanium will form an HCP crystal structure. By and large, the HCP crystal structure is preferable uh, to its BCC counterpart. This is largely due to its better atomic factor, which, makes that, which means that there are more atoms per unit cell, which means that titanium and an HCP crystal structure will have a better strength to weight ratio and overall better uh, mechanical characteristics composed to its BCC counterpart. So the physical properties of titanium. Titanium is renowned for its impressive strength to weight ratio. It is as strong as most commercial steels, while only being 45% of the weight of said steels. Or to compare it to its other large competitor, aluminum, it is nearly twice, twice as strong as aluminum, while only weighing 60% more. Titanium has an incredibly high melting point, higher than most other metals, with it sitting around 1,668 degrees Celsius. One of the byproducts of this high melting point is that titanium has a very low thermal conductivity, meaning that titanium does not expand much when heated, which makes it very valuable in situations and environments where thermal expansion is not desirable and can lead to failure. Titanium has a very desirable ductile characteristic. In most engineering situations, a ductile fracture is preferable to that of a brittle fracture because a ductile fracture has more warnings before the actual fracture occurs, allowing steps and measures to be taken to prevent said failure. And due to the strong surface bonding of titanium, titanium is a naturally non-corrosive metal. This means that it is resistant to salt, water, and rust and won't corrode and weaken over time. So the environmental impact of titanium. Titanium is the ninth most common element in Earth's crust. And in 2017 alone, over 225,000 tons of titanium was extracted, with this number only set to rise as the process by which titanium is refined becomes cheaper and titanium becomes more desired. The mass mining of any element is catastrophic to the local ecosystem, and titanium in this regard is no different. Large-scale mining of titanium in you know, rural countries will completely destroy ecosystems and the wildlife. In order to refine titanium, an extremely energy-hungry vacuum arc furnace is required, and this leads to large amounts of carbon emission, as the power stations needed to provide energy for this process produces a lot of carbon. So industrial uses. Due to the very high price of titanium, its uh, wide-scale industrial use is quite limited. One ton of titanium costs roughly $4,500 compared to steel, which costs around $85 per ton. And another big downside for mass use of titanium is that it's incredibly hard to mill, making it incredibly expensive to use on mass and very fidgety and likely to clog up machines. However, the impressive characteristics of titanium means that it is still used in a lot of situations, the biggest of which being the aerospace industry. Here, the very high strength to weight ratio and the high heat capacity of titanium makes it perfect to be used in jet engines with a 
high uh, melting temperature means that it is incredibly resistant to creep and makes it way better than most of its other contemporaries. Another big use for titanium is the use for prosthetics. Due to the non-toxic nature of titanium, it can come into constant contact with human skin without any fear of causing harm or poisoning to the user. A final use of titanium is in sunscreen and white paint, where it is used as a pigment and a fantastic blocker of UV rays from the sun. Titanium is set to become more used in just commonplace objects and items as the price drops. The end.